you can ask a lot of folks on this for the next four weeks. Thank you. Um, just how proud is your team on today? Yeah, it was, a, it was a brilliant game, first and foremost, uh, but the performance level was, you know, against a top class side that, what, four months ago or so was in the Champions League final. To, to bring that level of game and emotion to the game was, yeah, it was, was very proud of the team. But, um, yeah, but we started with good intensity, you know, our pressing was good. One or two loose passes where we could have connected the game better and we didn't have the goal disallowed, so, but we... We retain our focus. Felt unfortunate to be a goal behind at half time. Uh, but in the second half, we came out, started again very well. We adapted the system to, to be more offensive. And uh, yeah, the, the players cope with everything that the game threw at them uh, with great resilience and, uh, like I say, with great quality. So, uh, yeah, it was a very good result for us. Richard Pochettino said that the disallowed goal at the top to make it 2 0 gave you extra belief. How did you see that moment? Was that a massive turning point as far as you're concerned? I don't think it was massive, but of course it, it, uh, it depends how, it, how you, you, you take it. Like well, We've spoken a number of times this season already with our squad in terms of how we react to it. Because like you said, in the first half, it could have put us the other way, you know, with the goal going against us. So it's something that's new in the league, so we have to accept it. But I thought the focus of the players uh, it was very, very good in that aspect. So, um, of course, then it stays at 1 0. But you still have to go on and, uh, and play with the confidence and the quality that the players did. So, uh, but of course, from Maurizio's perspective, you know, 2 0, what would uh, you be happier with, of course, than 1 0? What do you make? Sorry, Brendan. Sorry, Brendan is saying, thank you, Digital Playbook, and I know you don't particularly like to see anything like that. Yeah, I think collectively the, the team was, was very, very good. We, we have a host of players, you know, are right the way through the team that are very outstanding talents and obviously some younger than others. Um, he had a wonderful finish. Um, playing inside, it was a good education for him today as well, playing against players of that, uh, of that level. Um, and then when we flipped him to the, the top of a diamond, he was uh, he's great at anticipating where the ball and where the space is. And like I say, I'm so pleased that he, he got his goal because he's gone close in every single game. Um, but he, it was a wonderful finish, and uh, yeah, delighted for him. Brendan, you've now played three of the sort of top sets today. Cross game one, where you're, you're going to be above Tottenham, probably Chelsea, Arsenal next to the game. How much belief did that give you that the break in that top six is realistic? Listen, we're, we're six games in. We're not getting carried away. We, we, we knew we had a tough run of games. You know, Chelsea away, Manchester United away, Tottenham at home in the first six games. Sheffield United, a newly promoted team. You know, was was a tough game to go away in Bournemouth. You seen their result last night. You know? So for us, we had, we had a tough tough start of games, but. Yeah, so pleased with the with the focus of the players. At this moment, we're only focusing on our performance. Where we're in in the table, February, March time, we'll have a closer look. Uh, but at this moment, it's about improving our game, bringing a level and intensity and emotion to the game that allows us to to maximise the talents that we have. And today, against a top class side, they they were they were exceptional. Well, I would hope so. With so many young players and with the team and yeah so so yeah I think we can prove and, and it's just about the consistency there you know what I was pleased was the flexibility in the in the team today we um, especially the, the beginning of the second half we were, we were playing 4-3-3 and that was giving them problems on the sides and then with their diamond and with the top quality they have it was giving us a problem but when we changed uh, then, uh, like I say, it gave us that extra impetus in the game and allowed the footbacks to go and march forward and, and probably gave their back four something else to, to think about. So, um, so from that aspect, the tactical flexibility was very good. So, but that, that has to keep improving. Great, Brendan. Can I just ask, you've spoken about the messages you've given to your players regarding What's are they? Just not to break the concentration, not to be toxic, not to be affected by if it's for you or against you, what are those messages? Yeah, focus. Simple as that. Just keep your focus. 
it'll go for you, it'll go against you. I've said it, and I'm, I'm, I've said it from the day one. I'm not sitting up here crying when it goes against you and for you. It's, it's part of the game. We have to adapt to it. I think the factual decisions are, are pretty easy. Everyone will see that. Is it a goal or not? Is it out? No. But sometimes there's, there's these moments in games where um, you know, there are fine lines and fine margins. You know? so, uh, but however it works, you've got to, you got to adapt. And, uh, and I thought the players adapted very well. Is that how long it takes? Because obviously, the first half, Spurs are fine, but obviously, they're going to take it. Yeah. Kick off again. That's right. Is it delayed too long? Yeah, listen, I don't want to keep. It, it, this is regular every every week, you know, so you guys write about it. It's For me, it's. You, you, you deal with it if it's a minute, if it's 20 seconds, whatever. Just just keep your focus and get on with your game. Yeah, he took a, a heavy knock on his ankle, so we'll, we'll see how he is tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.